This week in IT, imagine having an assistant for your entire team, automating tasks, managing meetings, and enhancing collaboration effortlessly. Microsoft has announced a big update to Copilot, which is based on OpenAI's ChatGPT, that is set to supercharge team productivity. So stay tuned to find out more. Welcome to This Week in IT, the show where I talk about everything connected to Microsoft 365, Windows and Azure. This episode is sponsored by our friends at Semperis. But before I get started today, I've got a quick favour to ask you. About 60% of the people who watched last week's video weren't subscribed to the channel. Now, as we go live today, we're on about 6,650 subscribers, and I'd really love it if we could push that up to 6,700 this week. So if you'd like to help us achieve our goal, then please subscribe to the channel and don't forget to hit the bell notification to make sure that you don't miss out on the latest uploads. What if you could have an AI assistant that supports not only you, but your entire team, helping to streamline processes and enhance collaboration. Now, Copilot for Microsoft 365, as it stands today, is a personal assistant. So any chats that you have with it is something that only you can see not your entire team. But at last week's build conference, Microsoft announced a big update is coming to Copilot that is going to change all of that. But before I tell you how that's all going to work, here's a quick message from our sponsor, Semperis. Did you know that Active Directory is exploited in 9 out of 10 cyber attacks? Once cyber criminals control your Active Directory, it's game over. With access to AD, attackers can gain control of your entire network. And if AD goes down, business comes to a halt. And it's not just on-premises Active Directory that's under attack. Cyber criminals are targeting Azure Active Directory too. Attackers can gain entry in the cloud and move to on-premises identity systems or vice versa. To keep threat actors out, you need to find and fix Active Directory security gaps. Meet Purple Knight, your ally in defending against adversaries trying to breach your hybrid Active Directory environment. Purple Knight is a free Active Directory security assessment tool built by some Paris identity experts. With Purple Knight, you can spot Active Directory vulnerabilities before attackers do. Purple Knight scans your hybrid environment for hundreds of indicators of exposure or compromise in both on-premises Active Directory and Azure AD. Purple Knight gives you an overall security score and prioritized remediation guidance for fixing AD security vulnerabilities. So at last week's build conference, Microsoft announced Team Copilot. Now, this is all a little bit confusing with the names, of course. We already have Copilot for Microsoft 365 and Microsoft Teams, but this is Team Copilot and it's designed to help boost team productivity and collaboration. Jared Spatero, who's corporate vice president at Microsoft for AI at Work, said Team Copilot expands Copilot beyond a personal assistant to act on behalf of a team, a department, or an entire company. Now, Team Copilot features are broadly spread over three areas. So that's meetings, planner, and group chats. So let's have a look at them one by one to see how Team Copilot is going to change what Copilot does today. So while Copilot as it exists at the moment does work in meetings, when you chat with it, it's only something that you can see. It's not aware of the other members of your team as such and those conversations you have with Copilot remain private because it's a personal AI assistant as it stands for you. But going forwards, Team Copilot is going to be able to work as a facilitator in your meetings. So here are some of the things that you're going to be able to do with Team Copilot. It's going to be able to take notes for you that everyone can edit and add to. It'll create follow-up tasks and actions for everyone to see, and it will share and manage the meeting agenda with the whole team. It'll help you to keep conversations on track by offering to set timers, so you time box any conversation to make sure that you actually get to the end of it, of course. And there's integration for Teams rooms 
meetings. So it doesn't matter where you're having the meeting, you will get access to these Team Copilot features. Now, just like I said with meetings, you can currently use Copilot in group chats, but it's a private conversation and that's going to change as well with group chats. So you'll be able to add Copilot as a collaborator in those chats and ask questions and interact with Copilot and get answers that everybody in the team can see. And Team Copilot will be able to respond to questions based on the group chat and any files that are shared within it. Now, in terms of Planner, Microsoft have kind of already talked about some of this technology before, adding AI to Planner and how all that was going to work with the new Planner app in Teams. And that was already supposed to be generally available right now. But while we do have the new Planner app, all that AI stuff that Microsoft were promising is not there. But Microsoft did talk about how Team Copilot is going to enable all of those features and more at build. So essentially, Microsoft is promising quite a lot here. They're saying that it's going to be a project or an AI project manager for you inside Planner and that it will be able to create plans with tasks and goals and that you can assign those to team members. And it will also help you to complete tasks by notifying team members when some kind of input is needed from them. And it promises to facilitate group collaboration to help you get tasks completed. Now, Microsoft is also also saying that Team Copilot will also be available across other Microsoft 365 apps in the future. Specifically, they mentioned Loop. And Microsoft is expanding Copilot Studio to allow organizations to do more with it. So developers are going to be able to create custom Copilots that automate business processes like order fulfillment. So that's in the agent capabilities. Microsoft is saying that custom Copilots will be able to reason over actions and learn from feedback back and handle any exceptions and that these features are available in an early access program and that general availability should happen soon. We're also getting custom co-pilots for SharePoint, so employees will be able to ask questions and find information stored in files on SharePoint. And this is currently available for commercial customers in an early access program, and there should be a public preview by the end of this year. Microsoft also announced the Copilot Trust platform, which should be in a public preview by the end of this year. And Microsoft is saying that it's going to enhance security, ethical standards, and efficiency for enterprise customers. Now, while Copilot for Microsoft 365 is a great addition, of course, to that whole ecosystem as it stands at the moment, it is all a bit limited in terms of what it can do. As I said, it's a personal AI assistant. Whatever chats that you have with it are essentially private. So it doesn't really help to facilitate teamwork in quite the way that it could. And that's what Microsoft is proposing with Team Copilot. So this feels like a very natural progression and next step for Copilot for Microsoft 365. Now, of course, in order to use this, you're going to need those rather expensive licenses. And I think this is going to really improve the value and return on investment that especially small companies can get from this. What I'd really love to see is for Copilot for Microsoft 365 to be more extendable into different systems that are not Microsoft 365, because in the real world, of course, while, you know, if you're going to use this, I'm always suggesting that you basically get as much information as you can into Microsoft 365 so that Copilot is aware of it and has access to it. Of course, the more information that you can provide it with, the more useful it's going to be to you at the end of the day. If you have a lot of information in other systems that are not easily accessible from Microsoft 365, then of course it's going to really limit its value. Now in an ideal world, all of those other systems would be connected somehow through the Microsoft Graph and all those APIs that are available via different systems and Copilot would just be aware of all of that information regardless of where it's located. And you know, going forwards, that might be something think that's achievable for larger companies to work under those particular 
configuration circumstances, if you like. But for smaller companies, I think really you need to be thinking, you know, we need to have everything within Microsoft 365. But, you know, we've got to start somewhere. And I think that Team Copilot, as I said before, is the next logical step. So I can't wait to see all this become more widely available later in the year. Let me know what you think about Copilot for Microsoft 365. Are you currently using it at work? Do you think that Team Copilot is the next right step? Will it be useful for you? Let me know in the comments below. If you got value from this video, I'd really appreciate it if you gave it a thumbs up because it helps us to grow the channel and get this video seen by more people on YouTube. I'd like to say once more a thank you to our sponsors, Semperis. I'm going to leave you with another video on the screen right now about some of the other announcements that Microsoft made at Build last week. Not least, of course, the new Windows and ARM devices that are going to rival the Mac M series chips and one of the big new AI features that's coming to Windows 11. So do check that out. But that's it from me this week and I'll see you next time.